Um, the W and Z particles otherwise play the same role in this context as the photon does in QED. They and the photon are examples of what are known as gauge bosons. The theory of the strong interactions responsible for holding the quark. So now we come to the strong nuclear force. So we've talked about uh, gravitation. We don't understand it in terms of particle physics. Okay, it's a it's a it's a deficiency of particle physics to where we don't really have a theory or an understanding of gravitation with particle physics, but we do have an understanding of gravitation with general relativity. Thank you, Einstein, and thank you, God. Right. Coming to the next electromagnetic force, uh, the next fundamental force, which is electromagnetic force, this is mediated through the force particle called photons. Yay, light particles or quantum nature of light will carry that. Then we talked about the weak nuclear force. This is mediated by the force particles called the W and Z bosons. And these affect, this force affects, for example, the neutrinos who only interact actually through this weak nuclear force. They don't care about electromagnetic force, for example. Last is strong nuclear force. Who carries this force and what does it affect? The theory of the strong interactions responsible for holding the quarks together in hadrons. So remember how quarks were always in these qu composites called hadrons or baryons, depending on if it's uh, the very common and familiar type of qu quark composite like protons and neutrons, protons and protons and neutrons that we all know and love in our atoms that we know and love, then those are called baryons. And the theory of the strong interactions that keep these quarks together is what, um, is what uh, the strong nuclear force will deal with. So, so the theory of the strong interactions responsible for holding the quarks together in hadrons or baryons is called quantum chromodynamics, QCD. So we just mentioned QED <clears throat> for quantum electrodynamics, the things that interact with both uh, electromagnetism as well as they're at a quantum scale, so you need QED. Now we just mentioned quantum chromodynamics or QCD, something to do with color. There's another property that we haven't talked too much about. It's called color. So the theory of the strong interactions responsible for holding the quarks together in hadrons is called quantum chromodynamics or QCD, and it's built upon similar lines to QED. In QCD, there is another set of gauge bosons to mediate the force, and these are called gluons. So kind of like glue, gluons are very strong. They're going to keep the uh, baryons together. So of course, they have to be very, very strong. So these are called gluons. There are eight of them.